This is our bull. His name is Liberty. His ear tag is 76 for 1776. Why? Cause America. checking cows this morning. We've got several that are pretty close to calving and uh, we have them in this field that is a basically a cutover that we're in the process of cleaning up. They are looking pretty good but we sure are ready for some calves to start dropping. So uh, we just got back from feeding. It's about six o'clock at night and uh, raining, about 69 degrees. Uh, we went out and checked cows, Jason and I did this morning, and we've been busy all day with pastoral stuff and family stuff, and so we didn't get to go back and feed until tonight. But I think it's pretty cool that it's raining in December and it's not cold. And though we are soaked and wet, uh, we are thankful to be able to get out and do the things that need to be done, regardless of the weather. So uh, JC and I got up this morning to go feed. Uh, had to move out a little bit earlier than we normally do because we have ball games today starting at 11 o'clock and we'll be 
the gym most of the day after once we get there. So uh, we feed for another guy who's out of town right now. We had to go take care of his livestock and, and make sure they had hay and feed and do the same for our own. If you notice, we put out some hay that looks pretty rough and uh, it is not extremely good quality hay. Most of it's left from last year, but the cows are eating it and down in the middle of it, there's some good stuff. And it, it is being utilized to help us clear this cut over behind us. We're sticking those hay bales back in that, uh, the weeds and, and brush and the cows are going in there and trampling that down. It's gonna help us when summertime gets here and we decide to finish cleaning this up and, and plant some grass on it. So it's kind of a typical messy winter morning in Mississippi. It's not cold, very wet and humid and muddy. But JC and I have been out here killing it. Got a brand new calf this morning. Little heifer calf. Looks healthy. It's gonna be out of one of our Brangus mamas. Man, I love to see those baby calves. No matter how many times I see them, it never gets old. Thank you, Lord, for the blessing. So it's Christmas season and there's a lot of people talking about what they're gonna get for Christmas. As a parent, as a family member, as a friend, I often worry about what it is that I cannot do for my friends and loved ones at Christmas. It is a good thing that we are reminded that in both Isaiah chapter nine and Luke chapter two, we are told almost the same phrase. For unto us, a child is born. In Isaiah chapter nine, he is called wonderful, counselor, mighty God, prince of peace. All of those things wrapped into one gift the King of Kings, the Lord of Lords, came to be our Savior, and He is the only one that can fill that position. So maybe, as my wife so aptly reminded me of this week, I should be thankful for what I already have and live in the moment, expecting nothing but praising God for what He does for me. Maybe that's what we should do this Christmas.